What's up guys? Welcome to this video on Elvis is the Man. So I came across this excerpt yesterday from Linda Thompson's book, A Thing Called Life. I read it a couple years ago and sometimes I'll take little screenshots and share excerpts from books that I read on my Instagram stories just, you know, to share with you guys just key points of it. Well, yesterday I came across something that I found quite interesting that I want to share with the greater audience. Linda shares in these excerpts her thoughts on Elvis's death, what Elvis may have thought of him dying, and how she tried to cover up and protect Elvis when asked about his drug use. I think it's really sweet and a lot of fans can actually relate to this. She says one of the main reasons I left was that I didn't want to be the one that woke up one day to find him no longer breathing. That would have been even more devastating than opting to walk away from him. I always felt bad for Ginger, who did find his body. That had to be a haunting experience for her. We've never met, but I believe she did the best she could, given all the circumstances, which is all that could be expected of anyone. Now, as I go on, read this, this is actually the reason why I made this video to share with you. I find her uh, insights here kind of interesting. She goes on to say, After Elvis died, in my naivete and desire to protect him, when I was asked to comment, I tried to dispel some of the drug rumors that surfaced. It wasn't that I wanted to put out untruths into the world, but I knew that Elvis would have been very embarrassed by the way he died. And I think Linda has the attitude or had the attitude that a lot of Elvis fans have. Like, oh, Elvis didn't have a drug problem or Elvis didn't do drugs in order to cover for him, to protect him. I mean, Esposito said, that Elvis died in his bedroom, you know, didn't say he was in his toilet or in the, in the bathroom. Uh, Hodge said that uh, Elvis had bone cancer. The maids cleaned up after him in the bathroom to cover for him, you know, etc. And other excuses for Elvis's early death have been given through the years. So Linda's immediate response was just to cover for Elvis. Now, this is the part that I found very interesting. And, you know, this isn't a Bible channel. This isn't about that. But this is Linda's thoughts, and it's mine as well. She says, I don't think anybody was more surprised than he was when his spirit left his body. I could always picture him thinking, whoa, wait a second, what happened? That wasn't supposed to happen. I was going to live to be 80, because Linda and him had talks about growing old together. She says, so at first when I was asked about his drug use, I always had a strong reply. Oh, that's just ridiculous. And he was just... Er, and he was given a federal narcotics badge by President Nixon. So guys, this video wasn't really even brought up to talk about the drug use, although she said that, you know, sprinkled into these uh, excerpts here. What I really wanted to show you guys was how she thought in her head about how Elvis died like his spirit left his body and Elvis looking down at his body as he's leaving saying, whoa, whoa, what happened? Like, this is a surprise. This wasn't supposed to happen. And in my head, I can picture that scenario of him in his bathroom. And guys, if this type of video isn't your taste, you know, some of you, I, I make plenty of videos about Elvis's life stories, his music. So just check them out if this isn't your cup of tea. But when I come across something I find interesting, I want to share it. So if you guys enjoyed these type of uh, videos, if you enjoyed the insights here from Linda's book, which I really suggest you get is called A Thing Called Life. Like I said, I read it a few years ago. I find it very, very interesting. She talks about just like lying in bed with Elvis, um, gazing at him, looking at his like perfectly shaped face and just what he was like in uh, July, August when she first met him and very, very interesting. So I suggest you check out the book. Hope you enjoyed some of these insights that I came across and uh, we'll talk to you next time.